Welcome to today's video. So today, I figured I would take you on a day of the life. <laughs> I'm currently doing my evening routines and I just made a video about this, kind of breaking down my process and how I handle evening routines so that I don't feel like super overwhelmed, especially with four kids, you know, it's a lot to do. And evening routines can kind of be quite stressful because um, you got to feed people, you got to bathe people, you got to get the house tidied. So I'm going to share with you guys how I get that done. So my first milestone for my evening routine is that between five and six, I just need to have the baths done. Does not take an hour to bathe two babies, but um, I just like to give myself that flex room because today I really needed it. Took me a minute to get going, but we've got the party started. The girls are in the bath. Um, one of the biggest tips that I have about trying to create an evening routine that feels less stressful is to give yourself way more time than you think you will actually need. Um, I don't, I can't even remember what time I started my routines back in the day before I had them, but it definitely wasn't five o'clock. Five o'clock, honestly, sometimes it feels a little awkward, but it feels a little weird, but I think myself every night at seven o'clock when the girls can go to bed on time. So I'm gonna get these girls all bathed. I'm gonna get them fresh. My husband will help me with the boys doing their routine. Um, the boys can kind of do things for their own. So he's just more there for supervision and just to make sure that they're doing things correctly. So I let them handle that however they see fit. But um, I'm gonna get these girls fresh and ready for the second part of our evening routine, which I will show you guys in just a minute. What are you doing? Looking at your good leftovers? Do you know what you're doing? All right, so y'all, the hair has been put up, okay? Bonnet's out, headphones are on. This is how you know we're in focus mode. So the next step of this process is between the hours of six and seven, I like to go ahead and get the kids fed. And so typically, I try to make this very, very, very easy on myself. Um, with quarantine, dinner is typically some type of leftovers. Typically, I cook a lot. What do you want? You want some chicken? Okay, homegirl says she's hungry. Say, I'm hungry. 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 Not happy. Hungry. Close enough. But yeah, I try to make dinner as easy as possible. Some nights I do have to cook, but typically they eat leftovers. So whatever they have from lunch, I try to make a lot of it so that they can also have some for dinner. Now, usually during the school years, the way that this works is I will cook for dinner and they will have leftovers for lunch the next day. But, you know, because of the way that this quarantine life is working, this is just what we do and it's fine. This is honestly how I grew up. My grandma would make a big batch of something in the middle of the day. And that is what we ate for dinner and everybody was just happy to have some good delicious food to eat, you know? Like it's cool if you can make your family three different meals every single day. I'm not there yet. Mm. So <laughs> anyway, so I have that. Some leftovers heating up. It's currently 6.08. So we're making fantastic time. Um, if the girls eat and can be done before seven, that's how I know we're golden. In terms of chores, I went ahead and started on my chores a little bit earlier in the day. Usually I do something called a reset, so I know that my dishes have to be done by the end of the night. So instead of just letting them build up, if I have like a spare minute or two, I my dishwasher, I usually empty it first thing in the morning. So my dishwasher starts the day typically on empty. So if I have like a few minutes, I'll just start stacking stuff into the dishwasher. 
so that there won't be so much for me to do at the end of the night. So I'm probably gonna get the girls seated and I'm gonna probably do that now. So the less dishes I can have by the end of the night, the better, you know? Who wants to do dishes at the end of the night? I don't, I don't. But if I have to, I will, but I don't want to. You ready to eat, ma'am? So I'm ready to eat. Where's your hat? Ready to eat? All right, so the kids are over there happily eating or whatever. So now I'm going to kind of work on a little bit of my cleaning routines. I know what you're wondering. Oh my God, you're not gonna eat, girl. You're not gonna eat. I'm gonna eat after I get these babies to bed on time. That's just what I do. That's just what worked for me right now, okay? Uh, one day I will definitely have the type of evening routine where we all sit together around the wholesome meal, talk about our day. Um, I definitely want that, but that's not my season right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just put those few dishes in the dishwasher, probably toss in a load of laundry, try to like get my hot spots together and just do what I can before the girls go to bed. So that way when they are done, or when I put them down, then I have very little to do. I've already had the opportunity to do my zone cleaning today. Maybe I'll insert a clip right here. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring the sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. to get a little mini makeover, got to dust and uh, vacuum and mop all up under the couch, all under the table. It was really good and I got it done while I was letting some rice boil today. So now that that's under control, um, my routines are done for the day. And so I just need to get this evening routine in. And the sooner I do it, the sooner I can relax. So I'm gonna try to work on that now.
situation's looking like. We still have babies trying to help out with cleaning. Thanks, mommy. Thank you. Um, so this hot spot is as good as it's gonna get, y'all. Progress on perfection. Hot spot is done. I still have a few more dishes that I'm gonna do, so I need to do that. I got the laundry started. This is what the living room is looking like. There's no point to even do anything with the toys until the girls go to bed because they're just gonna pull it back out. So usually I have the boys handle this, and as you can see, it's not too much for them to pick up. Pick up. It's a reasonable amount. And that's how I do toys. I don't ever have too many out at one time. I only have out what they can handle. So if it's too much for them to put away, my kids just don't have access to it. I have to toys kind of spread throughout the house. And this is all they have out at once. And if they have like a specialty toy or something like that, I'll bring it out. But they have to put it away so that most days, this is all they have to do. Something of this nature. We have about 10 minutes until 7. So... Instead of doing that at this moment, because I have time after the girls go to bed to work on those kind of things, but I just feel like what I've done is a head start. Whether I give myself a head start or not, these things are going to get done. If I didn't get a head start, I would just set my timer at the end of the night for 15 minutes, do what I can. Most of the time, it's enough time to get it all done. But um, now that I have a head start, that means I won't even need to use my timer, which is great. Uh, but I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes reading with the girls, playing with them, cuddling them and getting them ready for bed. Once they're in bed, I'm gonna come out. I need to do two things before I kind of sit down. I need to take a walk, a short walk, and I need to get those dishes done. get those toys together. I'm about to put on my walking shoes and take a little walk before this thing goes down. Your girl is sitting here, chilling, living her best life. No, but seriously, I got done with my routines. It is um, 7.30. I didn't walk very long. I saw a guy with his dogs loose. That didn't jive well with me, so I did what I said I was going to do, like my tiny habit. I didn't do much more than that, and I came right on home. And so now we're done for the night. So I just noticed that, yeah, those two things have really helped me. The things I talked about starting way earlier than you think you should, if you have the ability to, and having like milestones for each hour, realistic milestones. Do not jam pack your hour with too much stuff to do. Um, that way, if you have like extra time, you can be getting ahead on your cleaning schedule. And if you can't, then you know what I'd like to do. Set my timer for 15 minutes and do the best that you can. So that's it for me, you guys. Me and my husband, my husband is currently supporting the boys as they're doing their evening routines, their bath stuff. They got the living room picked up, so the only thing they have to do now is take their baths and brush their teeth and take their vitamins and all that stuff. So my husband is helping them with that. Um, and then afterwards, me and hubby are going to figure out what we're going to be eating for our meal. That's my plan for the night. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, please. I mean, like this video you know, subscribe or whatever, hit the like button or whatever. If you're more interested in like routines and simple systems that you can use to just feel more in control of your life at home, especially if you're a super busy mom, then you may be interested in the peaceful homekeeping challenge. It's a free challenge where I walk you step by step through the system that helps me just feel 
not super crazy and a very busy season of my life. So I'll leave some information down below if you're interested in that. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!